hammer bandsaw makes the perfect addition to any workshop, from a private customer to a thriving business, offering powerful and flexible performance at a great price. This video features the Hammer M4400, one of the most popular models in the Hammer range due to its robust capabilities and professional results. We recommend taking advantage of our hassle-free professional commissioning service for complete peace of mind. However, if you choose to set up your machine yourself, this video should come in handy. Be sure to keep your user manual close to hand and refer to it throughout the process. To set up the Hammer N4400 is our specialist Mitch, who will demonstrate the correct procedures that are essential in ensuring that your machine performs efficiently for years to come. To start with, you'll need to remove the bandsaw from its pallet and position it in a suitable position in your workshop. If your ground is not completely level, you can use the bolt supplied to level the machine as shown. Next, take the fence mount and slide it onto the rail, clamping it in place. Then, loosen the thumb screw like so to slide the guide fence onto the track and retighten. To fit the bandsaw blade, first unlock the two latches at the top and bottom of the machine to open the wheel doors. Next, loosen the thumb screw to open the safety guard as shown. Carefully take the bandsaw blade and fit it over the upper and lower wheels with the saw blade edge facing towards you. Once the blade is in place, you will need to bring it to the correct tension using the hand wheel beneath the upper wheel. This figure changes depending on the type of blade you're using, so make sure to check your documentation. As we are fitting a 10mm blade, the tension is set to the point shown by the scale seen here. The next step is to ensure that the saw blade is properly aligned by using the viewing window on the side of the machine. Slowly turn the bandsaw wheel by hand to check the alignment and use the hand wheel at the rear to adjust the blade's tracking. Do this around the entire circumference so that the blade is fitted evenly and at the recommended position along the wheel's edge as described in your user manual. With the blade fitted, it's time to set the blade guides to their correct positions. The model shown here features the optional X-Life ceramic blade guides, which offer excellent results whilst reducing noise emissions and friction resistance. Start by loosening the two clamps behind the saw blade guides to bring the assembly forward. Then unscrew the clamping screws to move the ceramic side guides into position. These guides should just about touch the blade without causing any friction to ensure a straight and vibration-free cut. Retighten the screws and then undo the clamp underneath to move the rear support forward. As with the side guides, the rear support guide should also be slightly touching the blade whilst not hindering its movements, as this will prevent the blade from thrusting backwards whilst cutting. Repeat this process on the lower blade guides using the same principles making sure the blade's movement remains unimpeded. Tighten each of the clamps and then close the blade guard and wheel doors. The positioning pin should be inserted into the notch in the work table when the saw is in use. For additional safety, the guard below the work table should be adjusted to suit the table's position. Once your hammer bandsaw is set up and connected to your power supply and extraction system, it will be ready to use, providing you with professional quality results for years to come. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos. And to find out more about our bandsaw range, visit felder-group.co.uk.